Do you have a daily creative practice? A routine that is built into your schedule without you having to think about it. Having a daily routine is the number one thing you can do as a creative to improve your skills, make deadlines, and achieve your goals. And it lets your muse know that you mean business. Hey creatives, I'm Jeff Katerba, and on this channel we talk about the creative process and overcoming obstacles so that you can follow your dreams. To get more content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. To start with, identify your goals. Is there some long term goal you've been wanting to achieve. Write a novel, a book of poetry, maybe to start a business, to make a series of paintings, to write a screenplay, to start a food truck. It can be absolutely anything. Whatever that goal or dream that is instilled within your heart that is calling out to you. And whatever it is, be sure to write down your goal. I'm a big believer in the mind to hand to pen to paper connection. There's something magical that happens when you write down your goal or your dream or your why your reason for doing what you're doing. When you physically write down your goal or dream, that's when the magic happens. Writing it down is a sign to the universe that you've taken the first steps to reaching your goals and dreams. It's like signing a contract with your muse and it's non-negotiable. If you don't yet have a specific project in mind, that's okay too. But maybe you have a sense, a calling deep within to create something. I'll bet you do because we're all creative and you are creative. That's something to take to heart literally. So even if you don't know specifically what that thing is, you still need to let the universe know that you are serious about it, that you mean business. For example, write down, I am creating every day. Whether you have a specific project in mind or you're not yet sure, write down that you are creating every day and mean it. And then get to work on your daily practice. And if you do that, the thing or the things that you're meant to work on, those dreams and goals that you are meant to pursue, they'll begin to tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, I'm here, let's go. You are literally creating space to create. And when you get serious about that initial commitment, the universe will take you seriously and your muse will begin to show up. Because remember, you have a non-negotiable contract with your muse. Next, finding your creative rhythm. The best time and environment for your daily practice. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm both. Thanks, coffee. Maybe you're a middle of the afternoon person or maybe you're not sure. So experiment. Try out different times of the day. When are you at your best, at your freshest, at your your clearest? When are you most energetic? Maybe you have a really crazy schedule and you're thinking, ah, I don't have a spare moment to think about creativity. Okay, fair enough. We can figure this out. Take a deep breath. I promise it's going to be okay and you can figure it out. Yes, we're all busy doing a million things. It's overwhelming sometimes. Can you wake up 30 minutes early? Which means you might have to go to bed 30 minutes earlier the night before. It's 30 minutes you didn't have before. Do you have a lunch break at your job? Instead of going to lunch with your coworkers, can you find a nearby coffee shop or some other little quiet nook where you can go be by yourself for even 15 or 30 minutes to give yourself the time to create? Even if you don't feel like you're at your best over lunch, that's still 15 or 30 minutes that is your designated time for creativity. It's yours and no one else's. Are there distractions and activities that you can give up? What can you do once and for all to pursue your dreams? There's a great story about a mom who wanted to write her novel. After she put the kids to bed at 8 p.m., she would write until midnight and then she'd sleep from midnight to about 4 a.m. And then she'd get up and write again for about three hours, take the kids to school, go to her job, and then do it all again. It's probably not sustainable long-term, but she wrote her book. She found a way to carve out time for her creative process. Circumstances change and your routine can change over time too, but in the here and now, where can you find 15 or 30 minutes every day without fail? And when you think, ah, I can't find the time, circle back to that initial thing that you wrote down, your why, the dream. Let that goal be your fuel. Okay, so once you have a dedicated time built into your schedule, remind yourself to leave all self-doubt at the door because you're on on a schedule. And if you have to put your creative block of time into your calendar, it's like setting up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with your muse and give notice to self-doubt and procrastination. Nope, not on my watch, not in this block of time. This is my time to create. Sorry, procrastination. Sorry, self-doubt. Bye-bye. You're out of here. And if your dedicated block of creative time is during lunch, for example, and your coworker asks to join you, say, sorry, I already have an important meeting. Because you do. Probably don't want to tell that coworker that you have a meeting with your muse 
trust in a really close friend who understands you and supports you. No matter what, show up. Don't disappoint your muse. Don't let your muse down. Mama always said, don't disappoint your muse. Okay, actually, <laughs> my mom never said that, but I kind of wish she had. So how can you stay motivated to keep to your routine? Remember, success breeds success. When you spend even 15 or 30 minutes working on your creativity, you will feel empowered, you will feel strong, you will feel refreshed. It's pretty amazing. Just knowing that you worked on your project will make the rest of your day feel better. It'll go better. Affirm that you've taken this step and that you showed up and the next day you'll do it again. And even if you feel like you didn't get a lot accomplished or generate the big idea, that's okay. You showed up and that means everything to your muse. There is always a fresh start the next day and the day after and the day after and the day after. Chip away little by little toward your bigger goal. And just knowing that you have this time built into your schedule that liberates you when you don't have to reinvent the wheel every day about when you're going to create, that will free you up. And now you can spend valuable brain power working on your creative project. One more thing, experimentation and exploration. As much as a creative routine will liberate you and let your muse know that you're going to show up, it's also important to occasionally step outside of your comfort zone. You got to keep it fresh. You have to experience new things, have new input. At least once a week, build time into your schedule to do something completely different. Maybe it's as simple as going to a different coffee shop to work, or maybe it's taking a different route home or a different route to work. Maybe it's reading a book on a topic you never dreamed you'd read about before, or listening to a podcast that's way out of your normal interests. Whatever it is, step outside of your comfort zone, even a little, experiment. And maybe if you're working, say, every day at 1 p.m., on Saturday, get up at 6 a.m. I promise your muse won't be sleeping in, so mix it up. It's really good for the brain. It's really great for the creative process. It's all about creating new pathways in the brain to expand your creativity. Creating a creative routine is the most important thing you can do. Pursue your dreams and passions. Identify your goal. What is your why? What is your reason? What is your dream? What is that goal you want to pursue? Carve out time each and every day for your creativity. This time is sacred. It's your time. Well, it's your time with your muse. You now have permission to the world to say, hey, sorry, it's in my calendar. I have an important meeting. It's non-negotiable. Remember the contract with the muse? And even when things don't seem to be going that well, remind yourself it's just showing up that is half the battle. Hold yourself to the schedule no matter what. Show up at the designated time and be present for your muse. And your muse will take notice. Build in time at least once a week to get out of your comfort zone to experience something new and different. What are you doing for your daily creative practice? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you want more content on creativity, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.